Most people die from lung cancer because it is difficult to diagnose in its early stages. But the study sponsored by the National Cancer Institute shows that low-dose CT scans can reduce lung cancer deaths by 20 percent. That's because a CT scan, which generates a three-dimensional image, gives a more complete picture of the lungs than a conventional X-ray and is more likely to spot a tumor while it is small enough to remove by surgery. The initial results were so striking that the study was stopped early so the public could be informed. Dr. Claudine Isaacs is a cancer specialist at the Georgetown Lombardi Cancer Center in Washington. I think that there's reason to be very optimistic about this. This was a very large, well-controlled, well-conducted trial. There were 53,000 people on this trial that were randomized to CT scan versus chest x-ray. The study followed middle-aged and elderly men and women who smoke heavily or were former smokers at 33 locations around the U.S. 1,800 of the participants took part in the study at the Georgetown Lombardi Cancer Center. For three years, they were either given CT scans or standard chest x-rays. Their health was monitored for five years to see if they developed lung cancer. Dr. Isaacs says if CT scans became the norm, many lives could be saved. We may well be recommending uh, routine annual low-dose CTs. But CT scans are expensive and are usually not covered by health insurance in the United States. And in many developing countries, the cost may be even more prohibitive. Another concern is radiation. A CT scan, even at a low dose, delivers about 15 times more radiation than a chest x-ray. Dr. Isaac says a CT scan may also pick up lung abnormalities that are not cancerous and could lead to unnecessary surgery. What they found with the CT is that they had a fair amount of false positives, about 25 percent, that often led to more scans and in certain instances certainly led to biopsies and sometimes surgeries. Still, Dr. Isaac says she hopes the study will make more people think about not smoking. And the most important way uh, that we can reduce lung cancer incidence and mortality is by getting people to never start smoking, or if they are smokers, to quit. Critics of the scans fear that smokers may not be motivated to quit if they believe screening can save their lives, even if they get cancer. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.